Hello and welcome to my video. In this video I'm going to show the difference between slipping a stitch knitwise versus slipping a stitch purlwise. Many times in directions you'll see the abbreviation slip one, SL1, or the word slip one. Now you can go to your abbreviations list and see what the designer intends. Sometimes they'll actually tell you in those directions whether they intend you to slip the stitch knitwise or purlwise, but sometimes they don't tell you. So how do you know when to slip knitwise versus purlwise? If the stitch is involved in a slip stitch pattern or any other stitch pattern where you're not decreasing, you're just making a design, oftentimes that stitch is slipped from point to point like this, and it would be called slip as if to purl. So you put your right needle into the first stitch on the left needle as if you're going to purl, but the yarn's in the back, and you just slide that stitch straight to the right needle. It did not change the stitch orientation. It's still going around the needle in the normal fashion. The other way, slip as if to knit, You'll often see that used in decreases like SSK, SSP, slip one, knit one, pass, slip, stitch over. And in that case, you want to change the stitch orientation. So you slip as if to knit. You put the right needle in the first stitch on the left needle as if to knit and slide it straight to the right needle. And you can see now that the stitch is in a reversed stitch mount. So that's the difference between the two. Now let me show you in a little swatch how these look. Here is a stitch that was just slipped purlwise straight from the left needle to the right needle point to point. And here is the same row. This stitch was slipped as if to knit. So this one you can see at the base, it's open right here. This is the stitch and at the base it's open. Over here, this is the slipped stitch, but you can see at the base the legs are crossed. So it does not maintain the fluidity, the column of knits going up. Here, this is an SSK, so we're taking two stitches and decreasing them to one, and this was slipped as if to knit. So we can see the stitches open at the base. Here we have an SSK where both slit stitches were just slipped point to point. It's a decrease of two stitches to one. And you can see the stitch is crossed at the base. This is the base of the stitch right here. And those legs are crossed because we changed the stitch orientation. I hope this helps you. If you enjoy my videos, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the share button and share on your social media or with your friends and come back and watch some more. Happy knitting.